can we please just normalize smart intelligent women wanting to be stay-at-home mothers and working part-time like one to two times a week because honestly like the thought of having to wake up every day for the rest of my life and go to work in order to live and eat and provide for my non-existent children right now is really is really nauseating really really nauseating women are not meant to work nine to fives and here is why i am saying that as i am in tulum rented out two mega mansions for 15 ladies that we have made an incentive trip for but here's why i believe in this and yes, I am a girly who has worked a regular 9 to 5. I'm a girl who's actually worked longer than 9 to 5 at retail. And I now show women all around the world how to create a full-time income all online. So I'm very, very strong on my stance with this. I'm a big believer that women are meant to thrive in their feminine. And when I say that women are meant to thrive in their feminine, I mean thrive financially. I mean thrive physically, emotionally, and spiritually. I think it's 100% possible for women to still be providing for themselves and be financially independent without having to clock into a 9 to 5 or work a job where they completely feel drained by the end of the day. I'm a big believer that women deserve and women are meant to have location and time freedom to eventually have financial freedom because we are creatures that are amazing when it comes to making money, but it needs to be on our own terms. And the simple fact is that women have a lot that they go through, whether you are a mom, whether you're not a mom, whether you're just a woman who's trying to live in this world, we go through a lot emotionally and it affects us spiritually and financially. And I'm a big believer that this is why women are just not meant to work a nine to five. We are meant to be traveling, living our life, going wherever we want with whoever we want, but still able to make an income at the same time. So no, it's not that I believe women don't deserve to make money. I just don't think that they should have to work a nine to five to get there when there's so many ways to be doing it online. My business partner and I rented out this mega mansion for 15 different ladies who all want to also create an online income. And all of them have all understood the exact same thing. Women are not meant for a nine to five. They are meant to be financially independent, but they are able to do it from their phone no matter where they are. I used to be super, super weirded out by anything like this because I always thought a regular nine to five was the only way. But truthfully, you got to realize that the times have changed. And if there's people doing it online, why can't you? There's nothing special about me or anybody else who you see doing this online other than the fact that we just realized it's time. If you're interested, just drop your Instagram below and I will send you all the information. If you don't have a job or you work from home or you get to stay home every day, please know how privileged you are because the girlies who have to go to work every day and then come home, cook, clean, spend time with their spouse or their partner, spend time with their friends, make time for themselves, work out, live a healthy lifestyle, and then go to bed at a decent time so we can do it all over again tomorrow, are tired. Thank you. So, of course, on my way to work, I get a flat tire and I almost crash. And... I'm sitting here, I tried to use the pump, and I'm thinking, I tried to use the pump that I have, and it's not working, so the tire's definitely done. And I turned off the pump, and I'm just sitting here trying to gather myself. <laughs> and stupid, this man comes up and knocks on my window, and he's like, hey, it's not working. And I just say, I know, I turned it off. He's like, oh, God, I'm just trying to help. Well, if you're smart, if you have any common sense, you'd hear that the pump is not on. It's still plugged in into the tire, but I unplugged it. But like, thanks, thanks, thanks for making me feel worse. I know everything happens for a reason. There's a reason why I'm not gonna get to work today, but like, dude. I don't know, man. Maybe you need to think less about work and more about your attitude. If somebody comes over there, tries to help you out. I understand that you're frustrated, but there's better ways to answer this. Now, I understand, once again, frustration and you don't really want people, especially people that you don't know, talking to you. But this is the same type of energy that you would expect from a man in all situations. Just the emotions to be stable, steady, no deviance whatsoever at all. This is the type of stuff that some women expect out there. So why now, when you're having a bad day, do you get to talk to people and then blame it on them for what's going on in your life when they try to help you out? You got to do better than that. It's a simple question. As a man, why would you marry a woman? I wouldn't. You see that? I married myself 10 years ago. That way, when I get mad and divorce myself, I get half my stuff. Come on. You got to think. You got to think. 
always remember, if a woman asks to be taken out, she just wants free food. <laughs> she hungry. She don't like you. I was only 13 years old when I realized I'd never need a woman again. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> never let me down. You want to know the real difference between men and women? I will grab a woman straight out of the gutter, crackhead, no teeth, and build her up. We date down. You think a woman would grab me if I ain't had no teeth? They only date up. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Imagine buying a woman you like some flowers. What's she going to do with them? She's going to put them in a the vase, put them in water, put them on the windowsill. What they going to do? They going to die. Just like her love for you. Right there in the windowsill for the world to see. Yeah, I guess that is how they do you. <laughs> I remember standing in at this girl's house one night. I walked into the kitchen. I seen crab singles and eggs on the counter. I asked her, what you about to do? She said, make cheese eggs. Cheese eggs? That was the last time I seen her. You think Big Mama was making cheese eggs with crab singles? But that's modern women. But you don't get it. You don't get it. You don't get it. I'm only two years into working my nine to five job and this is awful. So you're telling me I'm having the Sunday scaries every week to dread five days of my life to then be rewarded with a little thrill on Friday, but then be so tired from working that I pass out at like 10 p.m. Live for Saturdays, love them. But really, that is only one full day of fun because Sunday, have a great Sunday morning and then Sunday afternoon rolls around and I have the Sunday scaries and I'm dreading my life for the next five days. I went to college for four years to be stuck in this cycle. What? No, two years is enough. So I'm on TikTok and I'll be promoting products and posting my way out of this god awful cycle. I cannot settle for a life of dread, especially if they want us to retire at 70 now. Um, no, I'm going to be using the Internet because I see people making a ton of money on here and you can be making a ton of money by creating digital products, selling those and then promoting products that you didn't even make. So yeah, that's my plan. That's what I'm gonna be doing to get me out of this god awful cycle because I cannot take another second of it. Happy Sunday though. I think at this point it goes without saying that if women can find a man or a husband to take them out of this corporate environment, which quite honestly, they really don't like, then they would do that. The problem is <laughs> there's a good number of women, I shouldn't say a whole, but a good number of women that don't really plan on doing anything once they get to the house. Not no cooking, not no cleaning, not no making anything ready for you. And unfortunately for them, not a lot of men are in the market for those services. We're burnt out employees. I'm gonna show up to work 15 minutes late with a coffee in hand and blame it on the traffic. <laughs> We're burnt out employees. I was about to call out today, but then realized I had $3 in my account. We're burnt out employees. I've been rage applying all day. We're burnt out employees. Every time I do a good job, I'm rewarded with more work, so now I pretend to suck at everything. We're burnt out employees. I don't make enough to pay for gas or food or rent. We're burnt out employees. I cry on the clock at least once a day. We're burnt out employees. Our bosses are the worst. Ugh. Super toxic. They just overwork us. Don't know what. Veronica, stop making TikToks on the clock. Okay, get back to work. Oh, I'm so mad at work and <sighs> these things I'm supposed to do for 30 more years. Oh, Lord, I can't do it. I ain't got it in me. Got the show. Take it out. I'm done, Lord. <laughs> I didn't ask to be here. Anytime you shake your head like that and roll on the bed, that lets me know you've had about all you can handle. <laughs> Somebody, please save this woman. You tired? What? You ain't done nothing. You're not gonna believe this, but I'm on his side. It's just nasty in here. I'm done talking. This day, I'm done. Like this don't do it. This is over. Like this don't. It's really. I don't know what. To, I don't know what to do. That's it. I'm gonna have to sleep on the couch tonight. I'm telling you. I'm gonna sleep on the couch and come in and clean this up. Sleep on the couch. What was that? That? Oh, I thought that was a. Give me five seconds. Oh, there's stuff everywhere. You got your pump. I need twenty dollars. I gotta go to the store later. This man is working twelve hours a day, and he comes home to the disrespect you're showing—not to him. 
Not to him, to the home you live in, to the home he lives in. This man is busting his butt to provide for you. And that's what you're doing? I, I, don't, I don't know what to say. I just what do you don't. I, I, I'm, I don't know what to say. This, this is really outrageous. Uh, happy Valentine's to you, too. Yeah, right. Don't you get me? Uh, you, 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 ain't, you ain't get you nothing. You ain't, well, baby, you, you ain't get nothing if you, you need to clean up. You ain't getting, you think you deserve something because you ain't clean. The fact that you can see right here, kind of in the bottom left of your screen, that little charger, that's actually a robot. And you can't run that on an app is crazy. Now, I think honestly, <laughs> and I'm hoping that this is the case, maybe there's some mental health issues at play to where she's just not feeling it and she's feeling low and she probably needs to have a conversation with a therapist or psychologist, psychiatrist, so on and so forth. But if that's not the case, this is absolutely insane. It made no sense. You got stuff right here too. You ain't even fed the cat or nothing. And now the cat is running for cover? <laughs> what are we doing with our lives? It don't make no sense. And don't get it confused. Y'all know me. I'm all for a man doing his part. Y'all know I would jump on him no matter how much he works. Because I believe being a stay-at-home mom or wife is a full-time job. But that ain't it. She got to go. Men, you deserve better than that being a hard-working woman is no longer cool that is not what i desire to be will i be a working woman sure hard no the hard part is um I'm, i think i'm actually good on that i think i'm actually good on the hard part whoever fought for women to get jobs why why did we do that I am so tired. I want to just put my feet up. Like, I am... Oh my god. If you're sick and tired of the girl boss era, then it's time to enter your snail girl era. What is a snail girl? Listen, this is America, and <laughs> you can do whatever you want. But at this point, <laughs> it just seems like they're doing anything and everything in their power to get the heck out of Dodge, away from this corporate office. Snail Girl is like the antithesis of the girl boss, and I'm sure the girl bosses are going to hate this, but basically it is about slowing down at work, taking your PTO, taking your vacation days, taking your sick days when you feel sick, using up all of your breaks, being gentler with yourself, creating a better sense of work-life balance for yourself. Listen, even if I wanted to work, I couldn't. I wake up and immediately take my dog for an hour walk, I come home, enjoy my coffee for an hour, and then I have to go to the gym. And then by the time I get home and I get ready, it's already noon. And then four o'clock rolls around, I have to get back in my comfies. And then the cycle repeats. All I wanna do today is play on TikTok. I wanna sit on my deck with an iced coffee and my pug and play on TikTok. But no, it's the day after lady that dog don't want to be bothered by you go ahead get up and go back to work <laughs> after a long weekend of sitting on my deck playing on tiktok and i have to go to work today i don't want to go to work today i don't want to go to work i don't want to be a big girl i don't want to go to work i'm literally six months into my first corporate job and i already want to quit and it's not the fact that I don't like my job and like the people suck and like, it's just horrible. It's like actually a pretty nice job. Like I love my coworkers. Like it's all around great. Like if you look at it at face value, it's great. My one thing that I hate most is the fact that it's been six months and I literally feel like I've, I've nothing has happened in the past six months. I work nine to five, Monday through Friday. Actually, no, it's more like eight to five. And sometimes it's like five to five. I'll be going through my work week and then by the time it gets to Friday, I'm just so exhausted to the fact we're like- But why does a cat look miserable though? I can't do anything on the weekend anymore. 
something needs to change in this like work culture because like this is not cutting it because i'm not gonna go through my entire life working for like 40 years and then like i wake up one day and i think about it and i'm like wow it's been 40 years and i've done literally nothing the only caveat um with quitting this job is that i will not have any money so how am i supposed to live like what am i supposed to do i i don't understand anyway that's my rant for today See you next time. Peace. You, I'm tired. Unfortunately, this emotional breakdown is what awaits many modern women. This woman needed car work done. She took her car to the GMC dealer and had serious issues. It's not her that's supposed to be taking her car to the dealership. It's her husband that's supposed to be dealing with that. We are built and made to be your shield and deal with unruly people. That's our jobs. You guys have let people lie to you and tell you that you don't need a shield. And you spend all of your time trying to be a man and a woman. And this is the result. You break down. I've seen this video a couple of times and every time I see it, I feel sorry for her because she's so distraught. But at the end of the day, it is true. There are some women that think that they can be a man and a woman and it just doesn't serve the purpose that it needs to. Heck, there are some men out there trying to be women and men in terms of taking on the role. You see what I mean? You can't do it. We're both distinct in what we need to do. And as soon as you accept that, I think the happier you'll be. And she's not tired physically. Her soul. Her heart is tired. I am literally on the cusp of really just giving the f up. I'm so exhausted of pretending to be okay and then people still demanding me to be more, to be bigger, to be better. To be bolder. For their own personal enjoyment, but not for my own mental health. I find it very exhausting as a woman, as a black woman, as a queer black woman, to have to be everything for everybody. Women want me to be their best friend and confidant and their advice giver and leech all of my energy to bring them joy. Men want me to give them seduction. They want me to smile. They want me to only give the right answers and allow them to be in charge. Society wants me to shut up, go to work, be quiet, do as I'm told. My family wants me to be a support system, consistently giving all of myself as if I haven't become a completely new person since I've been an adult. My boss needs me to be attentive, detail oriented, focused as if the world around me isn't completely crumbling and, and I don't have enough money to pay my bills or clean water to drink in some areas of America and then we still have to just smile and pretend like everything's okay. I just have to give too much. It's too much and I'm really tired. I have this constant need for escapism because I'm trying to bleed out of the skin of capitalist individualist society but I am sucked back in because I'm I'm forced to and I'm really about to quit on y'all and leave this place I want to leave I want to leave America I want to leave corporate world I want to leave the idea of how I should be a woman I just want to be be I just want to be without any transcriptions of how I should be. Can I do that? Without any stipulations of anyone getting pissed about what I can and cannot do? I mean, Genuine was saying I can only be me, me, me. So I'm guessing just do that and hopefully it works out for the better. Maybe you can make your own CD. Maybe even be on TV. But I think at the end of the day, they're expecting you to still be the same old G. That's what I want to do. And I'm about to do it and I don't give a f what anyone thinks. What I used to say when I was in management is corporations favor the, um, the girlfriend 
over the wife. Mm. The wife that's been there for 20 years, yeah. mm, you're not favored. You mm -hmm. get a 3% raise. The girlfriend that's brand spanking new, mm -hmm. you only started seeing her on the side yeah. two months ago. Yeah. She's getting the rings. She's getting the car. She's getting the time. No. And this is exactly why you need to job hop. Because statistics show that the longer you stay in a role, the less pay increases you'll get. Whereas when you job hop, the pay has to match the market rate for your position. Also, let's not forget employers see employees as a number. Therefore, once you stop making these companies more and more money, while you're still getting the same pay, you will be easily discarded and replaced. Come to the realization that I just don't want to work anymore. Like, it doesn't matter the job, the career path, the location. I just don't want to work anymore. Hey, y'all. So I saw a tweet the other day that said black women are tired of working and I felt that in my spirit. So I just wanted to come on here and talk about it for a little bit. So just to give you a little bit of background about me, I have four college degrees, four, including a doctoral degree, which less than 2% of people in the entire world have. Okay, I'm a PhD. Okay, congratulations. And I was raised, um, I'm in my forties, and I'm part of that generation of women that were raised to be strong and independent. Um, somewhere along the way, the strong, independent, and the don't need no man part was added in. Now that's not me, that's, that's not my testimony. I'm a Southern girl, I'm born and raised in the South, so I've never been one of those I don't need no man girls because you know family and children were always important to me. However, I digress. My generation, um, many, many women in my age range were raised to be strong, independent, professional, highly educated women. And most of my circle is. Most of my circle, um, you know, they're, they're doctors, they're lawyers, they're educators. They have many degrees. They're doing quite well in life. And still, a lot of us have this in common right now. At this point in my life, Four degrees later, professional, educated, um, I can say with, with all clarity and with all, I don't even know. Exhaustion, tiredness, you're tired, you're fed up. It's not it. It's not what you thought it would be. You're happy about your accomplishments, but the way that these people are working you like a Hebrew slave and not here for it i don't even know how to, to get this out of my my heart right now but let me just say this i don't want to work anymore i'm done i'm tired of it i am completely over it let me tell you what i want to do i want to wake up in the morning i want to make myself an espresso i want to get dressed and go to yoga Maybe do a little shopping afterwards, definitely have brunch, come home, cook, clean, you know, take care of my family, take care of my man. Tomorrow, rinse and repeat, um, insert Pilates instead of yoga, cause you know, I have to, have to switch it up. Throw some volunteering in there. Of course, traveling, um, being a lady who lunches, a lady who shops whenever she feels like it. That's the life that I want. That is the life that I want for myself. I was raised to think completely differently. However, I've made it to the point where a life of leisure is the life that I want to live. And I know I'm not by myself. I've had this conversation with, with other women who are raised like me, just as educated. And a lot of us feel the same way. It's a very interesting phenomenon, but here we are. I'm going to say this. And this is going to be groundbreaking news. I think the vast majority of women, probably, regardless of if they're here in the United States or way across the world in India, would probably agree that if they don't really want to, they don't have to work. Most people in general. But hey, whatever you do, start a business, talk it over with your man and you guys figure it out. I hope it works out for you and your family. But that's just my opinion. To the next video, I'm out.